Hi everyone, I'm back, finally. Um, I'm so sorry I did not upload a video for the last tray. I was exhausted from the day and was tired and just wanted to get my kids down for bed, get the new aligners in and go to sleep myself. So that's what I did. Um, so I'm sorry you missed a tray, but you know, I gotta take care of myself first. So I hope you do the same because self-care is important. So I needed that sleep a little bit, but I do want to tell you a little bit about that tray. Um, after getting it in, I kind of wish I would have videoed that one because it was the hardest tray to get in. It was a struggle. Um, the aligners were working on these two teeth and boy, did it hurt. Um, it didn't want to pop in at first. So immediately when I started getting them in, I could feel the pressure and whew, I had to really overcome personal pain to get those up there. But I did use those chewies and they only hurt for, you know, the average three-ish days and then it was fine. But getting them in was not fun, but it's okay. It worked, it got them pushed back. And honestly, I think that they look my teeth look really good right now. I'm very pleased with where this process is going and how my teeth are reacting to these aligners. Um, very, very pleased with it. Uh, before I put in these new aligners, um, a couple of you had some questions that you asked me on previous videos. So I figured I'd go ahead and answer those real quick. Um, before I do, I want a disclaimer. Um, this is not necessarily what Smile Love recommends. It is, however, what I do and what works best in my life. I will let you know what Smile Love recommends and what I do, and you decide for yourself um, what you want to do. Um, but if you're going to ask me what I recommend, I'm going to recommend you do what Smile Love says to do <laughs> and not what I say to do because I'm not the dentist. I'm not. The nurse, like, they are the ones that know this, and I am deciding to take these risks on my own because they are my teeth, and I am the one that will have to answer to it. Sorry about that. My beautiful daughter got up from bed, and uh, she had, we have a new rule in the house that she can only have three toys in her bed um, at, at nighttime, and she had four, apparently, and so she was putting the other one up, a.k.a. finding an excuse to get out of bed, <laughs> but that's fine. Um, anyways, so where I was, um, you decide what's best for your teeth and yeah, but I will tell you what I do. So um, somebody asked about coffee. Do I drink coffee? If I do, how do I go about that? And um, yeah, all that good stuff that goes with that. Yes, I do drink coffee. I have to drink coffee because I need the caffeine. Um, Smile Love says not to drink anything but cool, clear water while wearing the aligners. So if you ask me what I recommend, that's what I'll say. What do I do? I drink coffee while wearing the aligners. I do. Um, there's a couple things that are going on with that that is a risk when doing so. You're going to risk staining your aligners. You're going to risk staining your teeth because the coffee will get into your aligners and sit there. Um, if you put creamer or sugar in your coffee, you're going to risk the sugar sitting in your teeth and creating cavities. Um, I'm sure there may be more, but those are the three that I know of. What I do is I will drink my cup of coffee and then I'll go brush my teeth and the aligners and then I put them back in. If I drink two cups of coffee, I'll brush between coffees. Um, I do this because I feel like, to me, it makes more sense um, to drink the coffee with them in instead of leaving them out since you're only allowed two hours a day to have them out. And I want to do that while I eat. So I drink with them in and then I take them out and brush my teeth. Same thing with coffees and Cokes and all of that. I don't drink, I mostly drink water, honestly. But if I do want a tea, I'll drink it with it in and then I'll brush my teeth afterwards. So that's what I do. Um, I have noticed that it does stain your aligners a little bit if you don't brush them. But um, 
to me, I'm like, it's two weeks. It's not a big deal. Plus, I have something to tell you about that helps a lot with the stains um, in just a minute. Actually, probably right now. So that's what I do with coffee. So you decide what works for you. And if you feel like you can give up caffeine or some caffeine and drink them with drink without your liners in, you do you. Get it. Personally, I think it's better for me to drink with them in so I don't risk my teeth shifting um, with them out or having them out for too long. So I would rather live by the two hour rule than the no drinking with them in rule. I, I, that's what I chose. Um, I felt like I couldn't do both. So I felt like the two hour rule was more important than the coffee rule, but you decide for you. Um, I had somebody ask about um, cleaning them and I do plan on making a little video to show you exactly how I clean. I just haven't done that yet. So what I did is I brought out a few of the things that I use with it. Um, I would recommend getting one of these handy dandy little Rubbermaid, Rubbermaid containers. They are the perfect size for these aligners. Both my husband and I have one. And what you do is this little lid comes off and it is like suction tight so the water won't spill out. And you fill it up with water. And then we have this, and I'm sorry, my fingernails are terrible. I need to paint them. But we have this um, aligner cleaner. I got it off Amazon. Um, and you take one pack and you pour it into the water. Stick your liners in there. We do it when we eat dinner. So we take them out for dinner, drop our liners in here. And I just set it on top, just like so. I don't close it. I let them set through dinner. After dinner, brush my teeth and floss. And then I take these out, the aligners out of this thing, and I brush them and pop them right in, right back in. They are so clean, like super clear. It gets all the stains off um, that I've noticed and my husband's noticed. And um, then we take this. So this cleanser lasts seven days. Is that right? Yeah, lasts seven days. So um, yeah, so we put it in there seven days. We stick our things in the refrigerator. Um, I think it was mostly just because we had nowhere else to put them and we didn't want to leave them out on the countertop because it doesn't say to keep refrigerated that I know of, but we stick it in the refrigerator. And then that's, I mean, super easy. That's what we do every night at dinner. And it keeps them clean, gets the stains off. But I'll make a video of that as well as um, how I brush them in between meals uh, because they do still get dirty throughout the day. Uh, yeah. So I actually have a set of aligners, an old set that are kind of gross. So you can see how clean these, this stuff will get. Um, so I made them kind of dirty for y'all. You're welcome. But I'll post that hopefully within the next week or so, um, on how I clean them. And you can see, I'll do one set with just brushing and then I'll do the other set in this so you can compare what just toothbrush and toothpaste do and what brushing it with the aligner cleaner does. Um, Smile Love does say to use um, dish soap to clean them. I have not done that, honestly. I've not tried it. Uh, I feel like it would leave it tasting like dish soap and I don't want to taste dish soap, so I just decided against it, honestly. So you can try it with dish soap, see what you like up to you but that's what I do and then I had another one another girl uh, mentioned that she has seen that I have lost some weight um, within the last few months of doing this um, and I have it's been great I cannot necessarily pinpoint what has affected my weight loss the most so I had a baby last November a little baby boy um, and so we started this when he was about six-ish months old and uh, yeah so I still had a little bit of weight, weight on me that was a lot and um, I was also and am still also an overproducer with breast milk and one thing that some people don't know about breast milk is it burns from the fat on the mom's body first in order to make the milk so there always has to be a fat reserve um, for the mom 
So even though a lot of people say they will lose weight while breastfeeding, a lot of overproducers don't because their body is constantly making fat in order to make breast milk, to my knowledge. Um, I'm not a doctor or a nurse. I am working to become a, a lactation consultant, so that is the what I have picked up on from those classes. So anyways, that... Producing so much milk caused me to take longer to lose the baby weight, basically, is what I'm saying. So when we moved from Kansas City to Amarillo, Texas, as you can tell, that's super stressful on top of selling the house, having two babies, my husband's being deployed. So there was a lot of stress that came and happened. And because of that, my milk supply uh, basically cut in half. So... Um, Though I still overproduce, it cut in half, so a lot of my weight went with that. Um, on top of wearing these aligners, and I graze less than I did before. So there's been a lot that has happened in my life in the last few months. So I can't necessarily say that all the weight I have lost is due to the aligners, but I do think that that's had some effect on my weight um, because I couldn't, I couldn't eat my feelings. I drank the, my feelings with water and coffee, but um, I did. I have lost oh, close to 20 pounds, so that's pretty exciting. Um, but again, I don't know how much of that is due to the aligners, how much of it is due to stress, and how much of it is due to uh, my milk supply dropping. So, but yeah, so that's where we're at. Um, those are really all the questions I had. Um, right now, if y'all have any others, let me know and I will do my best to put them in the next videos. But for now, let's put on tray 13. I'm so excited for this one because um, 13 and 14 are my last two on my bottom and then I'll be ready for the retainer. So exciting. Um, so yeah, I'll go ahead and open this up and we will, let's, which one comes out first, we'll put on first. And it's the bottoms. Cool. So super smooth. Yep. Clear. So here they are. I think I decided it's easier this way. So I just hit my glasses. Okay. Yeah, it's easier that way, isn't it? So that's where they're at. That's what we got. They're looking straight, guys. It's really just, well... They're actually moving um, four teeth. These two and these two. The canines and the ones right in from them. I don't know what the next to the canine are called. But anyways, let's get these in. Ooh. Those are tight. Those are really tight. Okay. I feel like every time I say that, but every time it's kind of like, whew, it's like a, it's like a shock in your mouth because you're so used to putting the same thing in, but they're different. <laughs> it's hard to explain, but they're tight. I can feel it on the teeth, but here's the tops. Super smooth again, man. Look at how much those two teeth are going in these ones. The ones that have bothered me. They used to stick out so far. And now look, they're hardly even out. So I'm so excited about that. Mm. That's a weird spot right there. We'll see. Maybe it won't bother me later. If it keeps bothering me, I might have to file it. And that would be my second aligner to file. Which, I mean, considering I'm on tray 13, that's not that many. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay, there goes my top. All right. There we go. That This top one did not hurt nearly as bad as the other one. The other one, I probably tried three or four times on tray 12 to get in. And these ones went on pretty easily. <laughs> so... Um, yeah, they feel good. 
got a little bit of lisp again, but that'll go away. Always does. So, um, again, if y'all have any questions, comment them below. Ask, and I'll do my best to answer them. I'll tell you the truth. I'll tell you what I do. I'll tell you what Smile Love recommends. Um, you're an adult. You make your own decision. And, uh, yeah, I will post a link down below if you are interested in Smile Love and think that they may be a good fit for you. Go through that link. That way it tells them that I'm the one that sent you um, to them. If you find another code, still go through my link and type that code in. If that code's better than the one mine, uh, discount mine gets you, awesome. I want you to save money. Do it. But do it through my code. That way they know I sent you and that these videos are out there and helping them get the word out. Um, so, yeah. Thanks, and I hope you all have a beautiful day.